Hi, I'm Dr. Lydia Sasenko, practitioner and educator of dental sleep medicine and oral appliance therapy for the treatment of snoring and apnea. Today, I'd like to answer the question, how can I treat obstructive sleep apnea? So um, I'll be reviewing current guidelines set by the American Academy of Sleep Medicine. They're also recommended by the American uh, Academy of Dental Sleep Medicine. Um, these are current today as to what treatment options. Um, after a diagnosis, please meet with your medical professional to discuss which treatment would be best for you. Usually, if um, uh, lifestyle changes are one of the most common things that might be mentioned, if you are overweight, uh, losing weight can definitely lessen the severity, or even cure you if you're in the very mild point of having apnea, but definitely uh, lifestyle changes that might help improve your overall weight, um, s stopping smoking, uh, alcohol as well, uh, reduction or you know stopping those can help in a, a mild level. Um, most common uh, next thing that might be mentioned would be CPAP therapy, which is a continuous positive airway pressure device. It is a monitor and bedside tool with um, hoses and a mask that you, that you place on your face that can help um, keep your airway open by the air pressure of the device. It is a wonderful tool, especially if you are, have severe apnea, especially if you have severe symptoms and you need treatment quickly. It is a wonderful tool really for all apnea patients. Um, another great treatment option is oral appliance therapy. It is now been around for decades. It is not new. That is kind of my area of specialty. And there's a, a lot of confusion in the medical and dental communities about that, but it is currently the standard of care for anybody who's attempted CPAP therapy and couldn't tolerate it, or for anybody who wants to uh, have an alternate therapy to CPAP um, and definitely for primary storing patients. So it is, it works in the majority of patients. It does not work for everyone, but it does work for the majority. And it is a, a basically involves a dental device that's custom made by a dentist, preferably one that's trained and educated in dental sleep medicine and airway breathing disorders. And you are fitted with that. You're guided through a process to get the device set a certain distance, basically keeping your jaw forward. There'll be a lot more videos on that, but just note oral planes therapy. It's a great alternative to CPAP and definitely um, something to try, especially if you have mild, moderate. Um, also, uh, sleep position changes. If you are, there's tools that you can get to keep you off your back. Should you be um, uh, in the category of much higher apnea when you're sleeping on your back, that definitely could help um, produce better results um, or might be your only treatment option if you're on the mild side. So keeping you off your back if you have apnea only on your back could definitely help. And there's a lot of options for that. In regards to surgery, definitely there are several surgeries, usually not the first line of treatment, um, but if you have nasal blockages, nasal passage surgery can definitely be effective for sometimes either the mildest of cases or especially to improve the results of CPAP or oral appliance therapy. So it's definitely an adjunct to those types of therapies. Um, Definitely not the first line of treatment, but it's gaining a lot of um, news right now is Inspire, which is a surgically implanted device um, that reaches your hypoglossal nerve and stimulates it when there's an apnea event. And um, that's a bedside uh, also um, little tool that you press on and off, but it is surgically implanted and there'll be another video uh, on that as well. So definitely not the first line of treatment, but it's, it's an alternative, especially if you've tried all other therapies. And um, so I hope this helped to kind of know the basics of some of the treatment options available to you. Hope you can share this video, like this video. It can help others who, uh, depending on where they are in the US, they can help um, with knowing what their treatment options are. And if you have any comments, please write them in the comment section. Thank you so much, until next time.